Uh, I've got a lot of material here. You've got the books about uh, about high holidays. Holidays, uh, the, the high holidays are also known as Yamim Norain, which in Hebrew means the days of awe. And uh, they, re they really are the most... They have become the most important Jewish holiday of the of the of the year. Uh, even even uh, those who don't attend synagogue at all during the year, on, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, starting Yom Kippur starting with Kol Nidre, uh, they come. People come to the synagogue, uh, and uh, even in in Israel. Uh, there are many who are not religious at all. However, when it comes to Yom Kippur, that's a day that they observe the fast, and they will uh, they will not get on uh, public transportation or drive a car. Uh, so it it really is uh, be become the the most important of Jewish holidays. Uh, it's a festival. The origins come, go back to Jerusalem, the temple days. And uh, uh, it marks the title of the first holiday, Rosh Hashanah, means the beginning of the year. So it is, it is the, the Jewish New Year. And therefore, customarily, people greet, greet each other with Shana Tova, have a good year. Uh, on the Hebrew calendar, it is the beginning of the new year. And uh, liturgically, it is also the, uh, the culmination of the high holidays at the end of Sukkot, a festival which comes right on the heels of, uh, of Yom Kippur, uh, is uh, the beginning of the cycle, the, the cycle of reading the Torah from beginning from Bereshit till the end uh, from the, from creation till the end, the death of Moses. Uh, so it it is it is the beginning of a cycle uh, and a new year. It's uh, it's the the Hebrew calendar. Um, what I the way that I approach this class is to introduce people to. Um, let me let me clear my my desktop here. Can close this. One second. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, I am. Oh, okay. So according to my computer, it's telling me that I am sharing a screen right now. Do you see Seder? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. This this is a machzor. Um, Machzor is the special name for um, the prayer book that is exclusively for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, because there are so many uh, uh, extra prayers and different prayers for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, uh, there is a, a separate prayer book for for these these holidays and it's called machzor um so uh let's first look at the table of contents oh by the way i'm going to like make a copy of this and copy it and i'm going to send it to you uh but not right now because i'm afraid i'll lose my screen here but I'll, I'll give, this is a, this is a, a machzor that I found online. It would be, it's very easy for me to, uh, to uh, navigate this. So here's the table of contents. Uh, the right side of, is the earlier page, and this is the, 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 the next page on the left. So the table of contents, the machzor starts with the Rosh Hashanah service, Mariv, evening, and then Shacharit is the morning service. And holidays and Shabbat have a, an additional service called the Max, the Musaf service. And then here you see, this is an overview. Uh, after Musaf, 
we have the Tashlich service. Tashlich is done outside at a, a body of water, preferably uh, a, uh, a uh, flowing water source. And that's the famous holiday or the famous ritual of throwing breadcrumbs into the water. And the breadcrumbs represent our sins. So a big part of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, as I'll point out as we go through this machzor, is uh, repentance. Because to begin our cycle, we have to throw away our misdeeds, perhaps sins, if not personal, of our community. Uh, and so Tashlich is that ritual. Moving on, a week later or so is Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the Day of Atonement. And that is the day that ends with our, um, our pleading, pleading and praying that our life will, will, uh, will continue and go on and flourish. Uh, as we, and the symbolic, the metaphor is to be written into the book of life. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in the service. Um, but that is a big symbol of, of Yom Kippur uh, and Rosh Hashanah is to be written into the book of life for the coming year. Makes sense. The, uh, the evening of, Rosh, of Yom Kippur begins with Kol Nidre, which is, uh, first of all, my, my favorite uh, event because the music is so stirring. The Kol, the Kol Nidre uh, is the evening uh, that people gather and make a special vow, which we'll talk about when we get to it. And then again, Yom Kippur similarly has a morning service, an additional service, an afternoon service, and it has f one of the four times of, year, of the year that we have a memorial service included, which is called Yiskor Memorial. And then here is something that no other holiday has, a Neila service. Neila service is at the end of the day, just as the sun is setting, uh, and uh, it is symbolically when the gates are closing and, and, and uh, it's our last petition to be written into the book of life for the next coming year. So um, what I uh, would like to do, the way that I approach this class is that I'm gonna navigate the Mahzor with you. And uh, what do I do? I'm the cantor. It's, uh, our temple, uh, and I'm going to sing for you, uh, and you can look at the same time, and uh, um, so that's how we'll proceed. Yohanan has joined us. I think I know who that is. Young man is is someone who converted recently. I can't your figure. There he is, my boy chick. Good to see you. How's nice it going? To see you too. Just putting away. I was saying daily to him. Sorry. Oh, of course. See, this guy, he's he he doesn't need an introduction either. He lives the he lives the life. Uh, so in our Moxor, we have some preliminary things that we can skip ahead to. I'm going to point out uh, some of the additional prayers that are done. Um, I'm trying to do this. Okay, that's better for me. Um, some additional things that are added. Now, in the evening service, uh, and this is repeated in the morning too, we make a special statement uh, on <clears throat> page 28, in, right here on this page. We say, on this day, we sound the shofar. Aha, there's another ritual. Uh, that is unique to this holiday. The shofar is the ram's horn, and it's an ancient instrument. And so no matter where we are in technology, we still uh, have a commandment 
to hear, to blow the shofar and to hear the shofar with nothing in between. Of course, last year we had a, a pandemic, so we, we made an exception so that you could hear it through electronically, but ideally to fulfill the, the mitzvah, the commandment to hear the shofar, the, the, hand, the, the ram's horn is blown and, and the, the sound waves fall directly onto the human ear. Because after all, we are human and we hope to keep that. So here is a statement that we make only on Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, sound the shofar on the new moon day because Rosh Hashanah does co coincide with the new moon like every month and on the time appropriate appointed for our new year. It is a statute unto Israel in ordinance with the God of Jacob. And you would hear this in the synagogue sung, Tiku shofar and that's done right before we begin the Amidah, which is always begins with a Chatzik Kaddish, a, uh, a sort of a marking point in the service. So we have a short Kaddish, and then the Amidah. The Amidah is said in private devotion, quietly. Um, and here are some uh, additional things we add to the Amidah. We say, Mi chamocha av harachamim, zocher yitzurav lechayim verachamim. Um, and the, the, uh, the recurring metaphor is that God remembers and has mercy. And with mercy, uh, we pray that God will uh, write us into the book uh, of life. Um, one of the, another additional thing is we, we, we say uh, here on, um, we add to the Amidah. The Amidah is done every day, every day, uh, three times. Uh, but on Rosh Hashanah, four times, and as I mentioned before, Yom Kippur, five times. But during this period, we always add, including on Shabbat, we add this statement, remember us that we may live, O King, who desires life. Inscribe us, see what I said? Inscribe us in the book of life. Zohreinu <speaking in Hebrew> That's something that's added there as well. Um, we do make a change. Um, at the end of the Amidah, on page 40 here, um, and it's highlighted, in the Maksor, um, we say this, we add this statement, Uchetov uh, chayim tovim kol b'nei beritein. Inscribe for, uh, for a happy life all the children of thy covenant. So these are special up. And we have this uh, statement, uh, And again, in the book of life and blessing, peace and prosperity, may we all, so you can read that while I sing. Anachnu vechol anachah, bedye 
ישראל, לחיים, לחיים טובים ולשלום. And that, that recurs, like I said, throughout the Yamim Noaraim, the days of all, Rom, Rosh Hashanah, and Yom Kippur. And that is the end of the holiday Amidah, which this is, the, we're looking at the evening, but it, it's the same thing is done during the day as well. Um, uh, mind you, uh, according, uh, sometimes, sometimes the Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur occur on a Shabbat, which is a, such a significant uh, a holiday. You probably had a, a class on Shabbat already and how important it is. So if it is Shabbat, there are special, you add the blessings of Shabbat. Um, what you're looking at now is the Kiddush. Kiddush uh, is done on Shabbat and on festivals and on the on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, but the text of the Kiddush changes depending on what holiday it is. The Shabbat Kiddush is different than this Kiddush. This is done, this is what's said on the, um, uh, on Rosh Hashanah, Erev Rosh Hashanah only. Uh, and thank goodness we can eat on Rosh Hashanah. In fact, it's a festival, it's one of the finest uh, nights of, of food, of, of Jewish tradition, to have a wonderful meal. And it begins with the blessing over the wine. We always make a blessing over wine and food. And on the festivals, we make a special kiddush with wine. Why wine? Wine is a symbol of joy. And so we, uh, we lift up a glass a, a, a goblet of, of kosher wine, and we, we bless the day through wine or with wine. And it sounds like this. It's good for me to practice. And it's got a special melody for Rosh Hashanah. Baruch, Baruch Baruch atah, finally got it. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher bachar banu mikol ha'am, v'romem anu mikol ha'shon, v'kidish ha'lu v'mitzvotav, v'atiten lanu, Adonai Eloheinu b'yava, et yom hazeh. Hazikaron hazeh, yom teruah, nikra kodesh, zecher leziad mitzrayim, kivanu vacharta, v'yotanu kitashta, mikol amim. Udvarecha emet v'kayam lahad Baruch atah Adonai Melech al kol haaretz Mikadesh Yisrael V'yom azikaron And if it's Saturday, you'd include this. But on Yom Tov, when, it, when it's also Yom Tov, you add the special blessing that we are grateful that we've 
reached this day. Baru, 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 Hatadonai, Eloheinu, Melachalam, Shehechianu, the Kiamanu, the Higianu, Lahazman Hazer. I happen to have my, uh, my Becher, my, 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 my wine cup here, so Lechaim. Rosh Hashanah. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty much the, the, the end of the evening service, besides the regular things like the Aleinu and, and uh, the Mourner's Kaddish, which is done at every service. And um, it's uh, customary to end the service with a special statement for a sweet year. And that's, that's another symbol of Rosh Hashanah. You'll see apples and honey. And before eating apple dipped in honey, we might say, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaEitz. And then we say, Yehi Ratzon Milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu Velohei Avoteinu Shetechadei Shaleinu. Here we have this important words, Shana Tova Untuka. May it be a blessed year with goodness and sweetness. Uh, people stream into the synagogue the next morning. It's going to be a, a long day of praying, not as long as uh, Yom Kippur, but um, uh, the Rosh Hashanah service begins with a shacharit and welcoming to this to the uh, into the synagogue. And parts of the service are the same as they are every day, the daily, the daily prayers. Um, but I'm going to point out some of the things that were added. Um, uh, like I said, the night before, uh, we, we uh, let's see, I went too far here, 190. Um, the, uh, the, again, the Amida. the Amida literally means standing, and this is the standing prayer, and it includes a, uh, it's the closest we get to God other than the Torah reading, because we have the Kedusha that's included in the Amida. but on, on the, uh, on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, collectively known as Yamim Noraim, the days of or of awe, <clears throat> we add some statements uh, starting here, misod uh, chachamim, by the authority of the sages, etc., etc. And this is the, 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 the prime statement, zochreinu, zochreinu lechaim. Melecha fez bachaim, bichot veinu, besefer hachaim, liman chaelohim chaim. Again, our, our metaphor, our symbol of the holiday, besefer chaim, the book of life, and we, 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 uh, we pray uh, to be. Uh, here we go, inscribe us in the book of life. Um, Gevurot is part of the Amidah, but we add this special plea. Who is like thee, Father of mercy? Harachamim is important because we're, we're, we, we pray for mercy uh, for our lives. Mi chamocha varachamim zocher yitzurav lechayim berachamim. And pointing out the things that are uh, additional for Rosh Hashanah. Here is a kedusha. This is the air of the evening kedusha, and uh, we. We do, 
we we uh, we have uh, are the regular structure of uh, of the typical synagogue prayer. Uh, something unique also to High Holidays comes up here in a few pages, and you may know this. This is a very famous uh, prayer. Here you see another special plea to inscribe for a happy life. All the children, kol b'nei b'ritecha, the, the, of the covenant. And there again is a Besefer Chaim. So these are things that are added. Now here is something you will might recognize. Avinu Malkeinu. Literally it means our father, our king. Of course God has no gender, but in Hebrew uh, they use the masculine, uh, but God is, uh, is both genders or more than that. God is nebulous. And so we talk, we repeat this Avinu Malkenu, that we have sinned before you, and there is no king but thee, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, the, the the melody that everybody joins in on uh, is this one. You may know it. Avinu Malkenu, Chonenu Vane. Avinu malkenu, chonenu vanenu, ki ein banu maasim. Aseimanu, tzedaka vachesed. Aseimanu, tzedaka vachesed. That sums up Avinu Malkenu. Um, um, answer our prayer because of, of, of your righteousness and loving kindness and help, help us. And then the ark is closed, the evening service uh, is coming to a close, the Kaddish. Shalem is the concluding Kaddish, and uh, there are various other things. Uh, actually, we are in Shacharit. This is, this is the morning also. So this is the morning, I meant to say. So that's included. Um, so Shacharit ends, and just like on Shabbat or any other festival, uh, the Torah service uh, becomes the focus. And uh, let me put that, here we go. It says the Torah service. And the ritual for taking the Torah out is the same. En Elohim Adonai is a popular melody. Uh, the Torah comes out and um, the ritual is the same. Let's just move along. Uh, a machzor will include for the congregation, for the synagogue goer, uh, the Torah reading inside it. That's different than on Shabbat uh, because a siddur for Shabbat or during the week, uh, well, uh, during the week might, but very uh, siddurim do not include the Torah readings. That's a separate book called a chumash, which is the, uh, the, the Torah readings. But a machzor will include the Torah readings, and Rosh Hashanah has its own proscribed Torah reading, uh, which is from Genesis. Uh, um, and it's, uh, it concerns Sarah and uh, conceiving uh, uh, a son unto uh, Abraham. Um, and so that's what you'll hear on the first day. The second day has a different Torah reading. And it's pretty much the same uh, ritual we follow uh, as Shabbat. Um, then there's a second scroll, uh, which is typical of a special day. Uh, it's called Maftir, and it comes from Numbers. And this is where we get the commandment to, uh, to, uh, that establishes this holiday 
On the seventh day and the first day of the month, you shall have a holy gathering. So this is a special, uh, uh, the, the commandment from the Torah uh, <sighs> about Rosh Hashanah. And um, now we're in the morning. And so, uh, of course, there's a haftar haftarah. We have a selection from prophets uh, to study. Uh, and the first day of Rosh Hashanah has its own uh, uh, haftarah. And the second day has its own. And then we have uh, a special prayers to add to the Torah service because the Torah service is the moment when the congregation convenes with, with the presence of God. And so our prayers are more, more likely to be heard. We, uh, uh, we, the metaphor is that God is, is with us uh, much closer during the Torah reading. Now here is something that is very unique to Rosh Hashanah, the shofar service. And uh, this is the first time in the morning that we hear the shofar and we have different um, uh, 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 selections from Psalms, selected biblical uh, verses, that are recited, and we have the first blowing of the shofar. What you hear here, what, what you have here, are the different melodies uh, or or tropes. The word trope uh, comes in with reading Torah, also sounding of the shofar. Tikiyah, shiv shiv shivarim, teruah. Uh, Tekiah. And this, these are the prompts to, to tell the, uh, the, uh, the, the shofar blower uh, what, um, uh, what melodies to, to uh, blow on the ram's horn. Uh, I have a recording of that, but let's, uh, let's just move on because I'm not sure I might lose you if I do that. Um, so uh, the, uh, the blessing for the, for the blowing of the shofar is a unique one also. Uh, you can say, you can see here, uh, ah, here we go, it's here. So this is the, the blessing for blowing of the shofar. Baruch atah Adonai. See how the melody uh, kind of picks up on what the shofar is going to do. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam. Asher kidishanu bemitzotav, vitzivanu lishmoa kol shofar. Very grand statement, the blessing for the shofar. Well, having concluded the shacharit and the introduction of the shofar, then we move on to the Musaf service. Uh, that should be coming up in about 10 pages. We Jews, we've got so many texts. We don't always do them all, but this is, the, this is a, uh, a, uh, a more traditional Moxor. Our Moxor maybe is a little, a little bit more abbreviated than this, uh, but you can find Moxorim, the plural, that are that are that are much abbreviated, but uh, we're giving you the real thing here. Um, so here we have you see this big title, Musaf le Rosh Hashanah, and that's meaning the additional service for Rosh Hashanah, and it begins again with this Chatzy Kaddish, and uh, the 
congregation, traditionally, the way that this is done and the way that we do it is that the, the, the entire Amidah is done silently and then is repeated out loud for the congregation to hear and to sing along and include the Kiddusha, the, the holiest part. Mm -hmm. um, let me go to, once again, I'll point out uh, things that are uh, added to, to the uh, Rosh Hashanah and uh, Yom Kippur uh, ser uh, service. Um, again, you add this thing about uh, Zohreinu, remember. Uh, but let's just jump ahead to, to the very important addition, the uh, wonderful, uh, symbolic, beautiful poem called Unatana Tokef. Uh, let me see here. Get that wrong? No, I didn't. Oh, I see. This is um, just a second. Let me get us uh, figured out here. Why is that? Oh, a three. Uh, I see. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, that was the silent part in this mock source. So now we get to the, the repetition. And ah, I see. This is why. Um, I, I, I want to, I, I skipped ahead. But here is a before, after the silent prayer, um, and before the repetition. Repetition uh, out loud is always led by the chazan, which is the other word for cantor. Uh, it's the Hebrew word chazan. And so, because this is such an awesome day, and the responsibility of the cantor uh, is to 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 represent the community. So there's an additional uh, um, prayer that is done by the cantor uh, and it's called Hineni. Hineni means here I am. And here the Chazan pleads with God. He's humble, she, he or she is humble that he is poor in deeds, trembling in fear and terror before God with this awesome responsibility. I'll just abbreviate. Um, and uh, this is, uh, it, it, it is done. Uh, sometimes it is done from the floor, the, the counter, We'll enter the sanctuary and uh, uh, he'll come from the floor and walk up to the bima, which is a nice symbolic thing that he's representing the people. And he and the cantor uh, is saying, here I am. I will take this responsibility to represent uh, the congregation. And here's a little bit of Hinani. Inani, inani, eani, mimas, mirash v'nivchad, mipachad, mipachad yoshev tehilo. Israel, 
באתי לעמוד ולחנן לבניך, באתי לעמוד ולחנן לבניך, באתי לעמוד ולחנן לבניך, על taste of it. Uh, I just wanted to introduce that to you. Uh, the last things I said, I beg of thee, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. Again, the theme of mercy. And the, the Hineni ends with this statement, Baruch Ata Adonai Shomea Tefillah. So here where we we acknowledge that blessed art thou who hears prayer. This is our belief in prayer. We believe in prayer. And then begins, as I said before, the repetition when the Amida is done out loud. And the, the, the typical connection, not typical, but the, the, the thing, the uh, four stated uh, statements uh, about, about memory, and adding us to the book of life are added. But here is something unique to, to Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The Unatana Tokef. One of the most powerful and wonderful bits of biblical poetry um, that's added and pertinent to the holiness of this day. And this is what it sounds like. And you can read the translation if you need. Veikon bechesed kisecha v'teshev alav be'emet. It goes on, and then there's this um, uh, this this uh, metaphor about God, uh, all that all mortals pass in review before thee, like sheep that are being numbered. As a shepherd, shepherding his flock, uh, causes each of the sheep to pass under his tallying rod. So this is a, a wonderful metaphor for this day, that God is the judge of, of each human soul. And um, this is the statement right here. There's a, a, a wonderful melody that we use. the sol solemnity of, uh, of the statement. And then uh, we have this additional um, 
part of the Unatana Tokiv, where we acknowledge that uh, on Rosh Hashanah it is inscribed, and on the fast of Yom Kippur it is sealed. So we begin our repentance on Rosh Hashanah, and at the end of Yom Kippur it is our fate is sealed. And this is a, uh, a, a melody that the congregation sings along and feels the, the, the weight of this statement. Rosh Hashanah yikatevun Uviyom som kipur yechatemun And we repeat, Rosh Hashanah yikatevun Uviyom som kipur yechatemun And an, um, an also a high point of the Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur service, um, and many poets have written on this theme, who shall live and who shall die, who in the fullness of years and who before, who through fire, who through water, uh, and it's a very moving and, and uh, uh, a thoughtful uh, moment in the service. Uh, you might know that Leonard Cohen, uh, the late Le Leonard Cohen, wrote uh, a variation on this, um, of, of this who by water and who by fire. And uh, it really is very, uh, uh, very thought provoking. And the conclusion of this, uh, of this Unatana Tokef is, Uteshuva, utefila, utsedaka, meabiri nedroa, hagizera. Through through repentance and through prayer and through righteousness, good deeds, uh, we may avert uh, all of these calamities. You gotta believe. Um, what else did I wanna point out to you? Okay, so, um, um, we certainly can't do everything, but uh, these are the themes of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur I, I like um, I like this statement, uh, how fragile we are, our origin dust, our end dust. And while we live, we imperil our lives for our daily bread. Um, Adam is, um, Adam means, uh, means man, means human, human, and uh, and of course it's it's a, it's become a, it's a, it's a name as well. How fragile we are! Our origin is dust. Uh, well, the service has a, a kedusha, but I want to point out the very important uh, addition to Yom Kippur. Uh, is the, 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 the full shofar uh, service, uh, which starts here. The shofar service, uh, and I think that we hear over a hundred shofar blasts were commanded to hear this, and we, uh, we, the custom is to have nearly a hundred blasts. And they're separated in three different sections. Malchuyot, that where we establish that God is sovereign, God is um, God is our king, our sovereign, and we have verses that support that that uh, belief. And after these service, these. Uh, uh, these psalms and these different biblical verses are announced, we have the shofar is sounded. And as I said before, these are the blasts that are done. 
Then there's the, the second of three sections. We move to Zichronot. Zichronot is memory. God remembers. So God remembers us, and for the sake of our ancestors, and for the sake of remembering the covenant that God will, will be kind to us. So we have verses uh, that, that, uh, that support the idea that God made these, that, that, that God should, will remember the promises made to, to God's people. And then take a look, we have another uh, set of, uh, of blasts. Uh, then we have the third section of the, uh, of the shofar service that's added to the Amidah. So dramatic, so such, uh, such uh, gl um, uh, glory that is added. It's the only uh, service uh, that, that actually that has the shofar in it, and it's very grand. So the third one is called the shofrot, um, that God is revealed through the shofar. And um, uh, we, we add these verses that, that, uh, that add to that, as I said, and where is it? Uh, no, I passed it up already. Here is the third set of blasts. And the service begins with this statement, Areshet uh, Sifatenu Yerav uh, May the utterance of our lips this day be acceptable before thee. And everybody sings along with this in this joyous tone. Areshet Sifatenu Yerav Lifanecha El Ram El Ram Benisa and we conclude the seder shofrotenu, and the order of the of blowing of the shofar, and then we get back to the amida, which is just prayer, and we have. The conclusion of the Amidah, both Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, is this Hayom Tiam Senu. It's the glorious uh, uh, prayer. This day, its greatness, its promise. Hayom Tiam Senu. And then everybody asks, Amen. This day, strengthen our souls. This day, bless us. This day, raise our spirits. It's a very joyous uh, um, uh, conclusion of, of the Amidah. And uh, what I want to do is, is leave you with this uplifting video, which the community of, of uh, congregations in Chicago um, put together in our Day, days of <laughs> days of pandemic, not days of awe. Um, and um, we sang uh, uh, with the help of a, a community choir on the north side, um, a, a, uh, a version of uh, Yom Tiam Senu. And uh, it was put together uh, with, with a message from the mayor of Chicago. And I'm going to share screen here, and I think I can do that. And um, so you have an idea of what the Hayom Tiam Senu is. Uh, we have like 10 seconds of the mayor. Did you hear that? Can you see it? It's a bit quiet. What? It's a bit quiet. Oh, I think, yeah, I have to also, uh, let me stop this. I have to share sound as well. Share screen. Thank you for, uh, share sound. Good. 
Perfect. Okay, so I hope this uh, this bring leaves you uplifted, and um, you might recognize somebody in it. Sure to bring. I want to wish good. you a Shana Tova, a good, healthy, and joyous New Year. May you all be blessed and continue to be safe. continue this way, it'll take much longer uh, because we didn't even touch on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the culmination of the, of the high holidays. I know we're supposed to go only an hour, so um, uh, I'll just, I'll just uh, describe that about a week later we have Yom Kippur and to show our sincerity and the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the holiness and the and the importance of this day, Yom Kippur, is a 24-hour fast. Uh, that's the the uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, act the act that that most fully most uh, uh, describes uh, uh, Yom Kippur. I think to to everybody. And uh, the thing about Yom Kippur is that it uh, it 
as I uh, let me let me put the uh, the the Mahsur back on uh, just to show you uh, fr from the index. Uh, I have to share just a second, and then we will uh, share screen. Let's do this. Good. You see that? Uh, you see the Sidur? Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, so Russia, Yom Kippur, as I said before, uh, it's important to know. Uh, it begins with the Kol Nidre service, which we could go on. We could have um, we could have a whole year of lessons about Kol Nidre. And in the morning, we have the routine where we have Shacharit, Musaf. There's an afternoon service and a Torah service, and that's a that's a me memorable. Torah service because it's the reading of the book of Jonah and everybody knows that biblical story. And there are different things that are added. We uh, add a section about martyrology, about the victims, about his Jewish history and the history of uh, suffering among the people, the Jewish people. We have a memorial service. And here's something unique that is not any in any other uh, uh, holiday or day of uh, of Jewish worship, it's the Neila service. And this is the service where, uh, where the, as I said before, the gates are closing and our pleas to be inscribed in the book of life um, come to a close. And I think I'll just, I'll just finish by showing you this page. Further, further, before. Here's the Nila service, the closing service. It's pretty. Sh it's it's a not exactly short service, but in in this service, um, we say we don't say write us into the book. We say uh, seal us into the book. Uh, 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 the we say here, seal us into the book. So you see, we've come to the end of our of our of our pleas, and now we're saying, and seal us into the book of life, and the. Two, forty-six. A few more pages to go, just to, so you can see the. You see, once again, we re, we uh, repeat the Avinu Malkenu, uh, where we say Tzedaka uh, vechesed vehoshienu. Um, Forty-four to forty-six, and here is the big statement at the end, uh, where we say Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. And then, blessed is God's glorious sovereign name forever. The eternal alone is God. And then we shout, sound the shofar. Share sound. I'm so showbiz, aren't I? So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the synagogue when, uh, when we open up. Of course, we're open for Shabbat. And uh, if you can make it over to the synagogue, we'll have a seat for you. Uh, and hope, and uh, we, we were open last year for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I'm sure we will again this year. But uh, for now, uh, I can say 
have a good Pesach, which is our next festival coming up. And uh, stay close, stay in touch, stay well. And uh, thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oops, wait a second. <laughs> Can't control it. Bye-bye.